So we've just arrived in Athens and walked into the middle of an enormous protest. Of course we did. It's Athens. This is a place where the economic and the societal problems are still so bad, the protests are basically weekly. But imagine being from a place that was so messed up that you'd risk your life and your liberty just to get here. In 2014, Medicine Sans Frontier visited holding camps for migrants and asylum seekers detained in Greece. They described what they saw as a living hell, full of disease, overcrowding and grotesque filth. Sadly, it's not that surprising. The Greeks have a weird relationship with immigration. In fact, until recently, this was a country that allowed a neo-Nazi party, the Golden Dawn, to sit in parliament. Part of the problem is that for a lot of refugees, the country is a gateway to the rest of the EU, meaning that recently, Many people have come from places like Libya, Egypt, Pakistan, Afghanistan and Syria looking for the European dream, only to get stuck in Greece. There, they face violence and often exploitation. In April 2013, in a small strawberry farm near a town called Manalada, a group of immigrants went on strike to protest poor pay and conditions. During the protest, over 30 of them were shot by their employers. After that, stories began to service of slave-like conditions and armed guards on motorbikes. In Athens, at a protest for immigrant workers' rights, we met Javad Aslam, the president of the Pakistani Workers' Association, who said he had something he wanted to show us. So Javed has taken us to a place called Inovita, which is home to about 3,000 immigrants. And a couple of nights ago, some people that Javed knows were attacked by the Golden Dawn. How many racial attacks are there in Athens? From last two and a half year, uh, eight to 900. In last three days, around about uh, 15 to 20 people are injured. And these are those peoples you can see. So the, these are everyone that was attacked yes. the last two days? Yes, more than 15 persons was uh, beaten. We were driven into the middle of a tiny village just outside Athens. The day before, Javed had told us three Pakistani men had been attacked. The three men were now staying in a safe house surrounded by their mates. This uh, young guy says they came inside our house, they broke our doors, and uh, they start to beat us with stones, with uh, iron rods. They beat us very badly. And, and so hit swelling. in the head and the side. Yeah. Is your arm broken? Uh, uh, yes, arm is broken. Oh. What injuries do you have? Oh, don't move if it hurts, man. They throw down from the upstairs. They threw you downstairs? Yes. So your, your nose got hit? Do you feel like the, the immigrants in other places in Europe have a better time than people in Greece? Yes, of course, they are uh, not uh, facing as like these uh, uh, very bad injuries and uh, very fearful every day. And when we are going to our job, we are not thinking we can uh, return back to our houses safely. What we can do if the government is not going to stop them, how we can stop them? Who will give me the justice? Who will protect me about these uh, attacks? Those three guys down there who are so scared and have been beaten so badly are kind of trapped between a rock and a hard place because obviously Greece is a horrible place to be right now and they're getting beaten up by neo-Nazis. And obviously Greece doesn't really have the money or the jobs to withstand this amount of immigration. So it just does seem like an impossible situation. The collapse of the economy and the rise of the far right have meant that these guys' lives have turned into hell. While we were in here talking to those guys, a producer was out front in the car and a Greek guy came up and started taking photos of the number plate and basically telling us to get the hell out, telling us that these guys are scumbags and we'd get raped if we went in here and generally being quite threatening. We've been in town, what, 15 minutes? In your opinion, when an immigrant is attacked, do they get as much support from the law courts as a Greek would? Τα ελληνικά δικαστήρια ε, είναι πάρα πολύ αρνητικά στο να δεχθούν ότι υπάρχει ρατσιστική βία από τη μια, ότι υπάρχουν εγκλήματα μίσου στην Ελλάδα ε, και πολύ περισσότερο είναι αρνητικοί στο να καταδικάσουν τέτοιου είδου. Μετά τι τελευταίε εκλογέ, είχαμε μια πολύ μεγάλη αύξηση των επιθέσεων εναντίον στου μετανάστε. Εάν η Χρυσή Αυγή θεωρεί 
ότι μπορεί να αποκομίσει όφελος από τέτοιου είδους δράσεις, οι δράσεις αυτές ξανά. Η Σαβγή came here, they said they don't want black people in Greece. They destroy all his goods. The goods worth of 3,000 euros. They destroy all. They say even if you have paper, they don't allow you to, to live here. But they don't want to see any black man here. Police saw what was happening. They didn't even stop them. What they do is to stay by the side and watch them what they were doing. The Greek economy was dangerous στο να συλλάβει, στο να καταδιώξει, να συλλάβει και να παραπέμψει ε, τους, ε, αυτούς που επιτίθονταν σε μετανάστες ε, και συνολικά η ελληνική κοινωνία ήταν αρνητική στο να αποδεχθεί και όλες ότι υπήρχε ρατσιστική βία στην Ελλάδα για πάρα πολύ καιρό. When the story of the Manolada shootings broke, not everybody was surprised. Dina Daskalopoulou is a journalist from Athens who first visited the strawberry farms in 2008. Since then, she's had her life threatened because of her work. Had the first stories about Manolada, I realized that I couldn't imagine what I would face there. I couldn't imagine that there were slaves in Athens in the 21st century. Were you intimidated while you were there? I've heard that were you intimidated while you were there? I've heard that the people who run these farms are very aggressive with journalists. They've also taken off the photographers. Έχουν στείλει κανένα δυο στο νοσοκομείο, έχουν προπλακίσει πάρα πολλούς, έχουν βρήσει αμέτρητος. Ο επιστάτης ειδοποίησε το αφεντικό από το τηλέφωνο και ξαφνικά στο πουθενά εμφανίστηκαν διάφοροι άλλοι υπάλληλοι του. Γιατί έκανα εγώ λάθος. Εγώ είχα υποτιμήσει το που πάω. So the police get involved, the government get involved? Η ιστορία προκάλεσε πάταγο στην Ελλάδα. Αναγκάστηκαν να εμπλακούν σε αυτήν την ιστορία η ΓΕΣΕ και η ΑΔΕΔΗ, που είναι οι δύο μεγαλύτερε συνδικαλιστικέ οργανώσει τη χώρα. Είναι πλάκι το Διεθνέ Γραφείο Εργασία τη Βρυξέλλε. Ε, η Διεθνή Αμνηστία που έβγαλε ανακοινώσει για τι απειλέ που δεχτήκαμε. Και τότε κατέβηκαν στην Μανολάδα ένα πλήθο φωτογράφων και δημοσιογράφων για να κάνουν το follow-up από την ιστορία αυτή. Το αποτέλεσμα ήταν να επιτεθούν και σε αυτού του συναδέλφου μα και όχι δεν έχει αλλάξει τίποτα έκτοτε. Ξέρετε πόσο κοστίζει μια ανθρώπινη ζωή στη Μανολάδα. How much is a human life worth in Manolada? 2.000 ευρώ. 2.000 ευρώ yes. for an assassination. They could have had you killed for 2.000 ευρώ. This is what they said. Πρέπει να καταλάβετε κάτι στην Ελλάδα. Τη δεκαετία του 2000 ζήσαμε ένα οικονομικό θαύμα το οποίο είχε δύο σκέλη. Το ένα ήταν δύο, δύο κεντρικές ιδέες. Το ένα ήταν ο εξυγχρονισμός και το άλλο η ιδέα της ισχυρής Ελλάδας. Για να χτιστεί αυτό το οικονομικό θαύμα, χρειαζόταν ένα στρατός από ανασφάλιστους φτηνούς εργάτες. Το, το είχε ανάγκη για την αγροτική της παραγωγή, το είχε ανάγκη για να κάνει τα Ολυμπιακά έργα, το είχε ανάγκη επειδή δεν έχει κοινωνικό κράτος, και άρα οι Ελληνίδες της μεσαίας τάξης που έβγαιναν έξω και δούλευαν χρειαζόντουσαν μια φτηνή ανασφάλιστη γυναίκα για να προσέχει τα παιδιά τους ή για να προσέχει τους γέρους γονείς τους ή χρειαζόντουσαν ο μέσος Έλληνας χρειαζόταν έναν φτωχό ανασφάλιστο εργάτη για να του χτίσει το εξοχικό του σπίτι κάπου δίπλα στη θάλασσα. Ήταν ένα, ένα κοινό μυστικό, κοινή συνενέση έχουν γίνει αυτά τα εγκλήματα εδώ. So while groups like the Golden Dawn are blaming the economic collapse on the presence of migrant workers, actually the Greek economy was propped up upon the shoulders of these migrant workers. So we're heading south towards Manolada, a place which is home to some of Europe's most delicious, most juicy and most valuable strawberries. But if rumors to be believed, it's also home to some of the least privileged and least well-paid workers in the Western world. Now, everything we've heard about this place is really intimidating. We've heard stories of immigrants being shot. We've heard stories of journalists being beaten up. We've heard stories of photographers being threatened with guns. But we're going there anyway. We're going to see for ourselves and maybe see what life's like for some of Europe's last slaves. Agricultural exports play a big role in Greece's economy. For example, about 30,000 tons of strawberries are produced yearly, but only about 12% are consumed locally. Yet, despite the size of the business, few Greeks are employed in the fields. Instead, the industry is carried on the backs of immigrants. 
Living around Manalada are a few activists who campaign for the rights of the farmhand. We met one who'd been threatened so badly that she was scared to visit the farms anymore or even reveal her identity. How regularly have you been down to the farms to meet them? Και έτσι ξεκίνησε ένα κυνηγητό με αυτοκίνητα στην αρχή. Μα πλησίασαν ακόμα πρόσωπο με πρόσωπο. Μα είπαν ότι πρέπει να προσέχουμε πού μετακινούμαστε. Να... Έως φτάσαν σε σημείο δηλαδή να μα πούνε ότι δεν πρέπει να βγαίνουμε και από το σπίτι. Ever since the shooting in Manalada got kind of nationwide press, has there been any difference? Has life got any better for the workers in the fields? Όχι, δεν έχει αλλάξει τίποτα. Περισσότεροι από αυτού, κάποιοι από αυτού μάλλον. Εξαφανίστηκαν, φοβήθηκαν, κάποιοι κατάφεραν να φύγουν. Τα πάντα παραμένουν τα ίδια. Κανείς δεν έχει χαρτιά. Είναι σαν να μην υπάρχουν αυτή τη στιγμή. Δεν έχουν χαρτιά. Δεν απο... Αν κάποιος σκοτωθεί, δεν μπορεί ποτέ να αποδειχθεί ότι αυτός ο άνθρωπος ήταν στην Ελλάδα και σκοτώθηκε στην Ελλάδα. Είναι σαν να μην υπήρξε ποτέ. Δεν δουλεύουν, είναι σκλάβοι. So we're driving to Manalada now, the infamous strawberry fields, and we're going to meet a guy who works there. We're going to talk to him about what it's like to live and work there, and if it's possible, we're going to get in to have a look at it. We'd arranged to meet a worker from the Manalada farms inside the nearby town, but were told to hide our cameras. It was all very clandestine and paranoid, but eventually our contact agreed to take us into the farms themselves. Kesser Farouk. Kesser. Yeah. Kesser. Um, so, do you work in Manalada Fields? No. And uh, how long have you worked there? Eight years. I don't like anything because if I go to the farm and work, I want to deliver something to the farm. For example, I work at a farm before I work. And I work four years with it and without a dollar of money. And I don't have any money yet. And there's two people from the house. And I don't have any money from the house. And I don't have any money from the house. And I don't have any money from the house. And I don't have any money from the house. Όχι, λάδα. Δελεύω, 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 δεν υπάρχουν λεφτά, τι να κάνω. Κάμετε, αν κάμετε. Οκ, είμαστε εδώ πέρα που είμαστε. Ναι. Δεν θα μας τι... Τίποτα, τίποτα. Ε, μην μας πυροβολήσει κάτι. Όχι, όχι, όχι. Ε, που, τα φετικά που είναι τώρα. Τα σπίτια. Ναι. Τα μεσημερινή είναι σπίτια, δεν έρχονται τώρα. Τε πρωί μόνο. Πρωί και το μ, απόγευμα κάτσε νύχτα όταν πάει νύχτα τότε. Με ζέστη δεν, δεν έχουν έξω. Μόνο αργάτας είμαστε τέτοια, γκτούρια, αφού εμείς δεν είναι είμαστε. So we're heading to the greenhouse where the migrant workers live. It's really tense out here, um, but apparently we should be fine. Okay, let's go in. Guys, do you want to turn the cars around? Tell them to be in the car. So this is it. This is the field where the workers of Manalado work, and it's pretty grim, man. It's like a refugee camp, only these guys are actually working and a large amount of their money every week goes on renting these places to stay. In this camp, we saw no water, electricity, toilets or showers, and it's just one of many. The fruit fields go on for miles and each one has to be worked on by scores of men. I've counted 12 of these big things and there's between 10 and 25 men staying in each of them. That means there's about 300 people here in this tiny spot in these plastic cages. This is in Europe, this is in mainland central Europe. It's like walking into a third world country. It's pretty unbelievable stuff. In a cuisine uh, kitchen. This is the kitchen? Yeah, food, okay. food uh, setting, uh, everything. Okay, this is the kitchen. Got a pretty basic fire going on, a lot of firewood. A sweet kitchen table. I think the roof might catch yeah. fire. <laughs> you might want to watch out on that. Ah, no, 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 no. <laughs> you want yeah, to be yeah, careful. Yeah. Don't <laughs> set it on fire. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How long have most people been here? Uh, four, five years. Yes? Yes, yes. yes. Not uh, money. money, not working, not uh, food, not uh, water, anything, no. I'm a arrest of poly. I'm born a puna pamon scomio. They didn't know fire or pharmaco. They didn't know pharmaco. Peripina tell me hartia. I'm a puna navra me hartia. I'm a master action of sergatus. I'm a mode din on a hartia tipota. Ute asilo ute tipota. Are you all scared of the bosses or do you stand up to them? Oh, Tora, oh, Tora. Prin fun, Tora. Why aren't you scared of them anymore? They've got guns. Yeti Tora, a foot tina tipre alonacani. A foot he is close to me for Adrupu, Balapano, Dembonacani Tipota. 
Μα πιο πολύ μπορεί να αυτό να κάνει, μόνο να ρίξει άλλο τίποτα. Και αφού δεν μπορεί να ρίξει τώρα, άμα δεν ρίξει αυτό, να κάνω και εμεί κάτι άλλο. Ναι, δεν μπορούσα να περιμένουμε εμεί να κάτσουμε τζάμπα. Με ποιο λόγο. Αφού δεν δε σ' άρεσε, διώχτω. Άμα δεν θέλει κάποιο, διώχτω. Πε το δεν έχω δουλειά, φύγε. Να πάω αλλού. Δεν είναι σωστό αυτό και παρά να δουλεύουμε και χωριστάει λεφτά και να έρθει και να βαράει. Δεν είναι σωστό αυτό. So around here, just around the back of this camp, are the vines which they work on. And there's fields and fields and fields of them. And there are loads and loads of camps like this. This is the labor upon which Greece is supporting its economy at the moment. And the enormous amount of money that people are getting from selling strawberries to Europeans is not coming back to these guys. Hello, mate. They do have a mosque here, so we're going to go and have a look at that. Is this your mosque? No, no, Muslim. Okay. So this is this is where you pray. Yeah, you pray for God. Do you pray to leave Manalada? Do you pray for for life? For life. Okay, so we've only been here for about 25 minutes, but we're being told it's time to go, it's time to move on in case the bosses come back, and that won't be good. They're like refugee camps. They're like something you expect to see people living in outside war-torn countries. They're not the kind of thing you expect manual laborers in the Western world in 2013 to be living in. 25 men to a tiny room, 10 men to a room half the size of my bedroom. The conditions are unbelievable. And all the money that's coming out of those people, their hard work and their suffering is, is going somewhere else. I guess it's going to houses like this. And all the strawberries they're picking are going in fat European mouths like mine all over the West. For those farmers in the region who had nothing to do with the shootings, the PR surrounding them has been disastrous. We spoke to one about the effect it's had on both his town and his business. Was it a big shock for the community, a big shock for everyone in Manolada? Ναι, και όσο καλυστήκαμε και μάλιστα όλοι οι υπόλοιποι φραουλάτες έβγαλαν ανακοίνωση που καταδίκασαν αυτό το γεγονό γιατί ήταν εις βάρος μας. Η όλη κατάσταση αυτή ήταν εις βάρος εμάς και του προϊόντος. What kind of people do you employ in your farm? Εργάτες από τον Μπακαλαδέας. Ε, δεν υπάρχουν Έλληνες που θα θέλουν να απασχοληθούν σε αυτό το τομέα. Φέτος συζητήσαμε εμείς επίσημα από τον ΟΑΕ γύρω στα 4.000 συνολικά εργάτες. Δεν υπήρχε ανταπόκριση. Ανταποκριθήκαν 8-9 άνθρωποι οι οποίοι δεν θέλανε να είναι στη συγκομιδή, θέλανε να είναι σε άλλες θέσεις. Ε, αυτό το 8-9 άνθρωποι δεν είναι τίποτα για αυτή τη, τη δουλειά εδώ. Οι μετανάστες για εμάς ε, είναι ένα εργαλείο δουλειάς. There's a lot of controversy around the conditions that the people who work in the fields in Manolada live in and around whether or not they're even getting paid. What's your point of view on that? The last year, the last year, the last year, the last crisis the crisis in Greece has created problems in this country. Look, we want to the money we pay for to the government and to the government and to the government and to the government. There's a huge amount of money that, at this time, has a need for The fraula brings money to Greece. Συνέχεια θα είναι ένα καζάνι που βράζει Μανολάδα. Και αφήνεται τώρα αυτό το θέμα να σέρνεται εδώ και πάρα πολλά χρόνια. Από εκεί και πέρα η πολιτεία κάνει πως δεν καταλαβαίνει, πως δεν γνωρίζει το θέμα. Να μην δίνουν μια πραγματικά λύση η οποία θα μπορούσε, θα μπορούσαν αυτοί οι άνθρωποι να δουλεύουν νόμιμα, να έχουν ασφάλεια, να, δουλε... να... να ζουν κάτω από συνθήκες υγιεινής και πραγματικά να είναι, πώς τα λένε, σαν ανθρώπινα όντα, γιατί τώρα είναι η ζωή τους εντελώς απαξιωμένη. Do you know who the people who shot the workers in Manolada were? Ε, στην περιοχή, από όσο λένε και οι άνθρωποι που γνωρίζουν πρόσωπα και πράγματα, έχει έρθει τα τελευταία χρόνια μία μεγάλη εταιρεία με την επωνυμία Βαγγελάτος, Ε, και αυτός έχει πάρα πολλά στρέμματα και πολλούς ανθρώπους οι οποίοι δουλεύουν σε αυτόν, έτσι. Οι επιστάτες 
του συγκεκριμένου ανθρώπου ήταν αυτοί οι οποίοι πυροβόλησαν ε, του εργάτε γη. Αυτά τα πράγματα είναι γνωστά. Έχουν πάρει το δρόμο τη δικαιοσύνη. Κάνουμε ότι δεν βλέπουμε, κάνουμε ότι δεν καταλαβαίνουμε, ότι δεν ξέρουμε το πρόβλημα και από την άλλη μεριά κυνηγάμε του ανθρώπου οι οποίοι πασχίζουν να βγάλουν ένα μεροκάματο. Κάθε τόσο θα έχουμε και από κάποια επεισόδια με την έννοια αν αφαιθούν ελεύθεροι αυτοί οι άνθρωποι να του εκμεταλλεύονται. With the quality of life so low, many immigrants to Greece quickly realize the country isn't the land of opportunity they first believed it to be and are desperate to escape into Western Europe. Doing this without getting caught and kicked back into the country they were first so desperate to escape isn't easy though. Last year, more than 1,500 illegal immigrants were caught in Patras. For immigrants hoping to get into Western Europe, it's the best bet, with boats leaving for Italy every day. We'd heard that the most common way to smuggle themselves on board ships was either by sneaking into the cargo or, more commonly, waiting at traffic lights for trucks to stop, climbing beneath them and holding on as they drove off. This, though, is both hard and dangerous. So many immigrants were left in Patras for months or years, every day trying to find an opportunity to escape. As such, for many immigrants, Patras has become a place of limbo, and life there is just a constant struggle to get out. Okay, so behind me is this enormous warehouse where apparently loads of the migrants in the area live. We were told that we'd be able to film in there, so we went to try and get in and two guys came up and stopped us and said, don't come in, don't come in. They were saying that there'd been a massive fight there a couple of days ago, but the two guys are going to talk to us, so we'll see what they have to say. Do you live around here? No, no. So Skatagulas, to Romia. Romia in Inisa. Can you tell me what the place is like? How many people live there? Pola, pola. Parapano, tetracosa. Was this from an attack? The army, Fandari, Fandari. Who stabbed you? Racist, racist. Racist. And this, this? Fascistas. Fascistas. Peter, my friend. Good vibe. Yeah. You do, huh? Vai at sea. You know, you do at sea. Then, Bore. Amadini in a lip to the Katsi in a lip to Apoilada. See, then, Marasi Allah. Allah then. Then, Borona Pau. Today, Vai. Istanomia. Boom, boom, me all. Today. Yeah, I see. I see. Yeah, no. Uh, it's not good. Uh. So we were just walking up the main road, took a left, just to kind of have a poke around. Saw a couple of guys, started talking to them, and they've taken us here. Here we go, man. Thank you, thank you. This bridge they've built through the sewer, it's like an assault course. And if you slip up, you fall in water that smells like a toilet. Fuck. So this is just off the main road, like we just turned a corner randomly. We've walked into this kind of amazing jungle, dilapidated castle thing. Hey, my friend. Italian. I don't know photo, I don't know film. No, 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 no photo. No. Okay? okay? Okay. But there was film here now, sir. How? Okay. Okay. You understand? Yes, yes, yes. Oh. I think some of the uh, locals are getting pissed off that we're here. Someone's shouting us out, out, out. How long have you lived here? Uh, two months. Two months? Yes. Are you staying in Patras so that you can get on the boats to, the, to Italy? Yes, of course. By container, by the bus. Okay. And the, the down. So you get down and you and hold yeah, on? And hold the, on the trucks. And when uh, you inside the ship, sit down in the 16 hours, 20 hours, without food, without drink. Oh, God. You know, it's not good. When you sleep, you die. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever held on? 
Yes. But you got caught? Yes, police stopped me and commandos stopped me. It's not good, I know, it's not good, it's bad, it's illegal. But what I can do? I have no papers. One of your friends was saying that police sometimes come here and yes. beat the people who yeah, live here. Yeah, police uh, sometimes comes here and caught many pupils. Really? And go to prison. What do, what do they say? They just say, do they hit you or do they just arrest you? They say to go to Afghanistan, go to Pakistan. Why you came here? But Afghanistan, too much problem. What he can do? He's coming here for earning wealth, good future. Yeah. But he got to go to UK. What I can do? It's worth risking your life to get out of Greece and get to the UK. Yes, yes. If I have chance, I go. Okay, thanks very much. No problem. You were nice to meet you. Walking around the ports of Patras, it's impossible not to notice just how many people are looking for their chance to escape the country. With the fences, the rocks, the sea and the guards standing in their way, it's easy to see why so few people actually achieve this. There's a certain sad irony in the idea that people try for so long to get to Greece, but when they get here, they realise they don't want to stay. They don't want to stay because the economy is botched, they don't want to stay because the police hate them, they don't want to stay because the Golden Dawn make their lives misery. In fact, the only people who welcome the migrants into the country are those who want to exploit them in the fields like the ones that we've seen. I guess that's why so many people spend so long trying to get the hell out of this. <laughs> 